Welcome to our Kafka Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many developers encounter when working with Confluent Kafka. Our viewer has been experimenting with Kafka and has run into some serialization exceptions due to malformed Avro messages. Let's break down the situation and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's begin by understanding the issue you're facing with Kafka deserialization. You mentioned that you're encountering serialization exceptions due to malformed Avro messages. This typically happens when the schema of the incoming messages does not match the expected schema. In your setup, you are using a producer that sends Avro records and a consumer that consumes these records. The consumer is configured with a string deserializer for the key and a Kafka Avro deserializer for the value. This is a common configuration, but issues arise when the schema changes unexpectedly. You mentioned that a bad message was sent to the topic, which modified the latest schema in the schema registry. This can lead to deserialization errors, especially if the new schema is incompatible with the existing records. The error message indicates that a required field is missing which is a clear sign of schema incompatibility. To handle this situation, you have a couple of options. One approach is to use the byte array deserializer and handle the deserialization manually. This allows you to skip over problematic messages. Alternatively, you can adjust your consumer settings to manage how many records to pull at once but it seems this hasn't worked as expected in your case. Finally, consider reviewing your schema registry settings. If you have the option enabled to allow any messages, you might want to disable it to prevent future issues. This way, only compatible messages will be accepted, reducing the risk of serialization exceptions. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. There's an existing JIRA ticket related to deserialization issues during polling in Kafka. You can find more details at the provided link. And that's it, guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And, you know, if it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time, guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.